Hello everybody, this is Beer Blades and Gear. In this video, I'm gonna be doing my full review on the Civivi Brazen. There are three different versions of this knife. Of course, there's this version with the burgundy handle and the black blade. There's also a black on black combination as well. And then there's a purple option with a satin blade. This knife cost me $49.30. It's made in China, where the national flower is the plum blossom. The question remains, is this knife worth buying? Let's take a look at the fit and finish here. The fit and finish on this knife is beautiful. We've got the Contour G10 handle scales with a black Tonto blade. You've got the thumb studs on either side of the blade here with the jimping as well. Just go ahead and flip it over. We've got the liner lock, push it in, drop it shut. The blade came out of the box perfectly centered. We've got the pocket clip here, which is a deep carry pocket clip, which is really nice. And then on the back, we've got the lanyard as well for anybody who wants a lanyard. So I would say the fit and finish on this knife is fantastic. It's time to go over the hand feel. The hand feel of the Civivi Brazen is quite comfortable as you can see i can fit four full fingers i have a large size glove you've got the contoured g10 handles which are really very nice and then you've got the finger choil here and the jimping on the top which does allow you to lock in quite well and then one thing i really want to note is just the way that this pocket clip is it contours very nicely to the palm of my hand so there's no hot spots so i'd say the hand feel of this knife is second to none here's the size comparison this is what the civivi brazen looks like compared to the spiderco smock here it is next to the spiderco paramilitary 2. this is what it looks like next to the benchmade osborne 940. Let's take a look at it on top of a deck of playing cards. Here it is compared to a silver dollar. And last but not least, compared to a mini Bic lighter. The beer I'm currently drinking is Mirror Pond Pale Ale from Deschutes Brewing Company out of Bend, Oregon. 5.0% alcohol. I would describe it as a great, refreshing beer. I really like it. Let's take a look at the specifications. We have an overall length of eight inches with a blade length of 3.2 five inches the blade is made from d2 material it's a flat grind with a tonto blade of course we have the black finish we have the handle length of 4.5 inches it's made from g10 handle scale material we have a weight of 3.81 ounces which really makes this knife great for everyday carry use. You can use this knife in your right or left hand and you can mount the pocket clip on the left or right hand side as well. And this knife is a liner lock. It's time to take a look at the fidget factor. The fidget factor of the Civivi Brazen is what you would expect from a Civivi. It's very, very good. Let's go ahead and shut it closed. 
You've got the flipper tab here, of course, with the jimping on it. You can light switch it like that, drop it closed. You can also push button as well. This is a great action, great detent. And then you can also use the thumb stud on your right or left hand. You've got a thumb stud on either side. So I would say that the fidget factor of this knife is great. Let's take a look at the pocket profile. The pocket profile of this knife is great. You've got the deep carry pocket clip. It's a little bit long in your pocket, but it tucks to the back quite nice. You've got the light weight as well, which makes it great for everyday carry use. So I would say the pocket profile of this knife is fantastic. Okay, here are my final thoughts. To answer the question, is this knife worth buying? For me, the answer is yes. The fit and finish is fantastic. Basically what I've come to expect from Savivi. And then when it comes to the hand feel, the hand feels really nice. You get a really good purchase on it. You got the jimping on the top and the finger choil here, which really does allow you to lock in quite well and then my favorite thing is the pocket clip here i like the way that it rests against my palm it's super comfortable and then the fidget factor is really nice as well it's got a great action and great detent got the flipper tab and then you also have the thumb studs as well on either side so you can use this knife in your left or right hand the pocket profile I think is great as well with this deep carry clip. So yeah, if I had the choice to buy this knife again, I definitely would. It's been a lot of fun to carry and I've had a great time reviewing it as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like my content, I would ask you to please like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this, I would ask you to please ring the little notification bell. Thank you so much for watching, and you all have an amazing day.